This this here is the Sarah and the LOC of keeping me company down here at the huh, the gallery. I guess your account pedestrian kicked me out. So I've been staying a little bit with Sharon. We have lots of plans. You know, once I get all this art off the ground. Well, you seem like a very nice young lady. I've seen you with some motorcycle gang guy. You should stay away from him. You should stick with my son, Blatson. He's a much, much better choice. He'll go much further in life, Sharon. I've seen pictures of you. I understand you're a fashion model. You seem like a very nice young lady. Blackson, what is that odor? What's that smell coming from that paper mache statue over there? I don't know how you stand it in here. You should say something to the museum curator about this. All right. I brought you some lunch here, Blackson. Enjoy it. Now I've got to be going. Mama's got to run. She's got some errands she's got to do. Blackson. Oh, wow. Blackson. Your mom is really something else. She's right about that statue over there smelling terrible, though. Look, here comes a group Good of people towards Blatson. us. Good afternoon, Blatson. Good afternoon, young lady. If the two of you will remain right where you are at the moment, we are about to create that paper mache statue up and deliver it to its spire, the Honorable Senator Quint. This shouldn't take a very long time, but we are going to pack it carefully for transport so it may take a little bit of time. The senator intends to have it bronzed and displayed in his foyer. Have a good afternoon, both of you, take care. CRZY presents a tribute to the lake. Great Vincent Vincini, founder of Vincini Cosmetics. A new company. It's a very uh, small right now. I, my wife and I, we make with the uh, face cream uh, at home. Uh, my name is uh, Vincent Vincini. And right now, I'm just operating here out of the a storefront. But one day, I hope to build and grow the company big enough maybe to have a factory, and then perhaps even then we shall expand. But right now, if you would like... She like cut to put a little bit of her play dough into the jar of Vincini face cream. And sometime a she like cut to put a little bit of sand, you know, off into the jar of Vincini face cream, uh, you know. She always like to add something to the face. of Murgatroyd City, Flashy the paper doll sits idly yet securely while a demented apron head destroys the paper doll factory. And as she sits, alone with her thoughts, she begins to wonder about her abstract nature, including the fact that she does not possess any facial features, and she wonders to herself what it might my, be like to have oh a my, face. I was created without a face. Where there should be a face, there is nothing but a blank space. I am a girl without a face, I am not even a member of the human race. Although I can see, I have no eyes. Quite frankly that comes as no surprise. 
I don't have ears yet I can hear. It's all becoming very clear. I do not even have a nose. I could draw or paint one on, I suppose. Will I spend my whole life as an abstract creature? Or will I one day somehow obtain some facial features? Dr. Getter, why did you make me like this? A great big blank is this little miss. But it's nice to sit and think that someday I might get a face somehow. Children, Ophelia Anderson, Jr. As you know, your father loves you very, very much, but as a senator, it's, it's necessary for me to be away for long periods of time. And your mom, your, your mother, my, my wife, she, the senator's wife, must accompany me, plus she has many of her own endeavors which take her away from the home. Therefore, we have hired a nanny for you. She's very, very stern. She's very, very old school, very traditional. You may not like her at first, children, but give the nanny time. Try to cooperate with her and try to get used to her. So I want to introduce you to your new nanny, children. This is Himpelsheimer. Children? Good morning, Miss Himpelsheimer. Good morning. Now, now, sit still. Don't take it so much. I tell my little girl, Mama, we're a bit foxy this morning, aren't we? Now, now, let's put on our little shoes. Stand up straight now. Be a good little girl. Let's put a big, happy smile on our face. The world hates frowners. Be still. Hold still. Here's a little hand wringing out of your dress. Let me take care of that. Now, now, don't twist and turn so much. Stand still. I think your mommy let you have too many sweets last night. You're so frosty this morning. Now, be a good girl and march right down those stairs to the breakfast. She's here. Your little brother already has his shoes tied. Mama, now, now, let's hurry. Your breakfast will get cold. Little ladies must have carry and be late. We must always be on time. Got to learn to hustle a little, Missy. Let's go. Mama, now, now. Fable, Beetle and Snail By Rich Vernada One day a beetle with a missing leg walked up to a snail. I wish I was sentient, said the beetle. With Aesopian wisdom the snail replied, Your very ability to ponder that question may make you sentient. The beetle responded, Most of my life has been spent crawling around blazing donkey's patio and hoping some big human doesn't stamp on me. The snail answered, See there, you just expressed hope, fear. Those are two advanced emotions that humans think only they have. The beetle nodded. You a combat veteran? How'd you lose that leg? The snail asked the beetle. It's a long story. The beetle then remarked, you got sensory organs that are different than mine. Does that make you more sentient than me? Nah, kid, the snail admitted, I don't have any more sense than you do. The snail admitted, 
but I do have these nightmares about some giant human female stepping on me for the sexual pleasure of a male human. The beetle grimaced, if that's what it can be called, Jesh. Those humans are some sick puppies. The snail raised his antenna, you got it kid. I am the person known as Apronhead. The paper doll factory must be destroyed. It is in reality a front to merge paper doll and human DNA or with, or with wood pulp in order to create living, sentient paper dolls. I cannot allow this to happen. The world will be overrun by soulless paper dolls. This atrocity must be stopped. Oh, there will be nothing left of myself, the paper doll factory, or the owner, or anything. It will all be burned down, and this is my last will and testimony. I, Apronhead. To the only father I have ever known, Jaco, bequeaths all of my earthly possessions, which consist of my VCR, my Marilyn Monroe movies, my JFK poster with Marilyn Monroe, and my drawing of Bangladeshi Boot the Clown. To the neighbor and friend, Timmy the Skateboarder. I bequeath my jewel-studded apron with the anarchy symbol on it. May he tie it to his head and wear it proudly wherever he goes skateboarding in Dead Center Park. Thank you. should have known better, Grandma. I know both them boys, and they, they got what was coming to them. And what's this that your mom tells me about y'all going to a bookstore in Flat Town, and you found this kind of book, and there's a picture in there, and you claim it flashed you the paper doll in this wooden thing back in 1689. Timmy, that's not possible. That's not possible. You just don't know what you think you saw. You didn't see that. You're either making that up, or you're just having some kind of a fantasy or hallucination. You did not see that, Timmy. Well, Grandma, I'll tell you that I did see it. It's in a it's in a history book in that bookstore in Flat Town. It's a picture of the wooden creature and Flashy the paper doll with two Wakanani Indian tribe back in 1689. Well, if you won't believe me, come to the bookstore and I'll show you. Well, if you won't believe me, come to the bookstore and I'll show you. Thank you. 
When I'm not skateboarding, I'm on my shred sled. I gotta stay mobile on wheels. Four wheels. August here, announcing and describing my latest wonderful art exhibit, the dictionary, a guide to all that is ditzy. And here are my definitions mm, in I this dictionary sunglasses. art exhibit, ditzology, the study of ditzes. I love my Dits sunglasses. When a ditz dies by her own hand. Dictionary, the obituary of a ditz. Ditz Makeover, a tube of lipstick from Wally World or the dollar store. A dipsity, a recipe thrown together by a ditz and masquerading as food. Ditz Diet, chips, I love candy, Xanax. Ditzyland, that part of the South inhabited by ditzes. Ditz Blitz. The sudden, unexpected, overwhelming arrival of multiple ditzes. Ditstination. The destination chosen by ditzes for vacation. Ditstar. The ability to spot ditzes. If your ditstar is going off, you just spotted a ditz. Ditsography. The life story of a ditz. Not that there'd be much there. So I hope everyone enjoys my new art exhibit. This is Blatz in the Art. I love my sunglasses. I love my sunglasses so much. My favorite thing about my sunglasses is they allow me to see things that aren't usually there. Well, Dr. Derrickson, uh, thank you for dropping by the biotech lab. I'm sorry I was out. Dr. Reeb Summer told me you'd be here in your office. I understand you wanted to talk to me a little bit about my new uh, creation, Flashy the Paper Doll. Yes, yes. Well, tell me, Dr. Getrick, what are some of the enhanced abilities that Flashy the Paper Doll possesses or may possess? Well, I'm virtually certain that by her very nature, she will experience precognition and that she will in fact have precognitive dreams that warn her of the future which which brings us to the subject of, of time and time travel in the future and i understand you 
have been researching that and have perhaps even developed a device that enables time travel. What, what can you tell me about that? Uh, well, my, uh, my main concern with my energy time flux device is that if someone somehow builds a second, a second one, yes, indeed. Well, and initiates a secondary field, yes. Uh, while the first one's active um, and reappearing intermittently, yes, yes, it could literally cause various alternate realities uh, to merge um, with our own timeline. You know, it could merge with a coexisting one, and I mean, heaven only knows what catastrophic event could occur as a result. Yes, the sudden merging of more than one timeline could indeed be devastating. Well, I, I, I'm afraid I, Dr. Reepsomer is beeping me. I've got to get back to the biotech lab. Thank you for your time, Dr. Derrick. Okay. Let me level with you. I can't do anything else for your face. That scarring on your complexion there, it's, it's a permanent thing. You can go to a dozen other dermatologists, they'll tell you the same thing. I'm afraid your modeling career is probably over. The lawsuit, class action lawsuit against Infinity, that's the best idea you've had yet. And there's lots of other women nationwide that will join you. Hey, this is all going to come out on Nationwide TV, Sharon, during the Senate hearings. Look, I've known Judy Vincini for many years. She's self-centered, narcissistic. She doesn't care about anybody else. I mean, come on. Just be glad to grab whatever settlement you can get. Count your losses and move on. Just consider the modeling career, a chapter of your life that the door has closed on. Another door will open. I'm sorry, Sharon. I I wish I could give you better news, but that's the best Megatroid, I can Megatroid, you're watching the RZY. You're listening to CRZY Radio. CRZY, all the hits and talk radio all day and all night. CRZY. You have no idea how glad I am you could meet me here at Drifties. I just need someone to talk to. The dermatologist just gave me some very bad news about you my know, face. My mom was right, Sharon. You really need to drop that motorcycle guy and move in and stay with me. I have been absolutely bored to death since Count Pedestrian kicked me out of his place. You'll just love my new studio. You've just got to come over and see what I've done with it. And as for your modeling career, oh, come on, honey, you can model for some of my paintings. You'll just switch gears. You may not be doing the big fashion modeling thing, but you can appear in my paintings. I'll do an exhibit based on you, Sharon. Come on over. Check out my place. As soon as we leave here, come straight over to my place. and Dr. Reeve Summer have a thorough understanding of their two creations, Flashy the Paper Doll and Woody the Woodpulp Boy.
They have enlisted the aid of Dr. Derrickson for an unbiased assessment of the characteristics, abilities and attributes of the two artificial beings. And the two of them have sat down at a meeting with Dr. Derrickson to hear his findings. Both Flash of the Paper Doll and Woody the Wood Pup Boy possess regenerative capabilities. If either of them loses an arm or leg, not only will they grow one back, but the arm or leg which they lost will in fact grow into another full, complete, exact duplicate of the original creature, and this duplicate creature will possess all of the memories and experiences of the original as well. Yes, yes, yes. This is something that Dr. Reeb Sommer and I had discussed at length. Thank you, Dr. Derrickson. Detroit, you're watching the RV World. One of the largest blats in today announced a new exhibit opening next week featuring new works based on the Murgatroyd fashion model Sharon CLO. The exhibit will be appearing at the Murgatroyd Metropolitan Museum and will run for at least two weeks with the possibility of being extended past the two weeks depending upon public and critical response.